extraction of iron from iron ores remember the other form of iron ores are converted into oxide form that means oxide ores of iron after concentration after concentration by calcination or roasting calcination or roasting these oxide ores oxide ores are introduced into blast furnace blast furnace from top of the blast furnace we have to introduce iron ores these iron ores in addition to iron ores we have to use limestone and carbon or coke so remember oxide ores and coke and limestone are in percentage of 8 east 4 east 1 that means oxide ore in 8 percentage coke in 4 percentage limestone in 1 percentage when introduced into blast furnace here the blast furnace will have various types of temperatures it will be represented as like this from where we are going to apply hot air into the blast furnace here is the formation of so from where we are going to collect pig iron finally so this is the top of the blast furnace top of the blast furnace from where this is the top side we are going to introduce oxide ores and comma limestone and coke here nearly 17 or 1673 degree kelvin of temperature observed here from bottom to top temperature decreases temperature inside of the blast furnace decreases in this case in the first step iron oxide by reacting with coke it converts into iron plus carbon monoxide so for this we can write delta g is nothing but carbon and carbon monoxide that means iron undergoes reduction where carbon undergoes oxidation here this is a complete reaction but during the process first iron oxide is participates in reduction and produces iron plus half o2 so for this we can write delta g minus is equals to f e o f e similarly in the next step the coke or carbon is going to react with oxygen and converts into carbon monoxide for this we can write delta g minus is equals to c c o so during this process here delta g delta g sorry for this it is f e o converted into f e here delta g c c o plus delta g f e o f e have to equals to delta g r so this is here during this process there is 
evaluation or separation or extraction of iron takes place from its iron ores and remember during this process at various temperatures first Fe2O3 is converted into Fe3O4 now this Fe3O4 when heated at different temperature it is converted into FeO ferrous oxide now this ferrous oxide will react with carbon present in this to convert Fe plus carbon monoxide during this process there is the elimination or evaluation of some impurities takes place okay impurities or during this process the limestone the added limestone are also dissociates and produces calcium oxide and carbon dioxide now the calcium oxide will left as impurity to remove to remove this impurities calcium oxide will reacts with silica which which is used as used by us and converts into calcium silicate so this calcium silicate left as slag so this will be molten slag will be collected from this entrance whereas from this exit area we can collect molten slag so the calcium oxide which may be present with impurity is going to react with silica to produce calcium silicate as slag will be collected here whereas after isolation the pure iron will be collected at bottom side of the blast furnace it is blast furnace bottom of the blast furnace here the resulting iron from this method having four percentage of carbon and some little amount of little amount of sulfur phosphorus nickel manganese as impurities so the iron which consists of four percentage of carbon and some little traces of impurities like sulfur phosphorus nickel manganese the resulting iron is called as pig iron it is called as pig iron now this pig iron when heated the hot fume flames are applied onto this pig iron it is converted into iron iron which consists of three percentage of carbon so at this condition that iron is called as cast iron the pig iron purified to cast iron here the industrially most important iron available for us is wrought iron wrought iron it is used for used in the manufacturing of various types of poles or industrial equipment etc so this is extraction of iron